Brent and the club announced Tyler Wells on the injured list. Uh, how long are you expecting him to be out? Or will you guys just bring up another reliever to stay with the expanded staff? I think we're expecting him just to, uh, we retroed it back a few days. I think we're expecting him to be back um, once the 10 days is up. So very hopeful in that. Uh, yeah, I expect a, 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 us to replace him with a, with a pitcher tomorrow. Rich Duberoff, go ahead. Hey Brandon, uh, can, you, can you go over the, the fifth inning? You go and you take Lo you go and you take Lopez out, and the bullpen uh, comes up big. What were you uh, What were you seeing that you uh, that you felt like you needed to take Lopez out there? Uh, I was seeing Juan Soto. So I saw Juan Soto come up to the plate, and I had Paul Fry ready for him. Um, and Paul Fry did a great job. Paul Fry and Tanner Squat Tanner Scott. Uh, you know, both faced the middle of their order and and um, pitched extremely well to three dangerous hitters and four dangerous hitters. Um, you know, brought Tanner in to face face Turner there. Yeah, Turner Turner threw Zimmerman's a, a, a tough a tough little pocket there, and both the left-handers did a, a really nice job. Won us the game. John, go ahead. Brandon, both those guys and you know all the relievers that have pitched today. It seems like they have more good days like this than, than bad days. But for them to all line up together and this to work out the way you wanted it to, what does that do for your mindset and the team's mindset that these things can work out? Well, it's nice to see Tanner come in after, you know, kind of a, a tough inning a couple of days ago and face, you know, really, uh, like I said, a tough middle of the order and go an inning in third and punch out two of them. Um, so it was nice to see him bounce back the way he did. Uh, you no, know, Tanner's got under a three RA, so – He's, he's doing a lot of things right. Only through 15 pitches and getting four outs. Uh, Paul Fry, 20 pitches, getting four outs. So the bottom line for both those guys is is, is working ahead because they have they have put away stuff. They have sliders that they can put guys away with, um, and they did that tonight. Joe Trezza, go ahead. Brandon, how pleasant of a surprise has has Urias been in Galvis's place, not just tonight but over the past few weeks? Yeah, no, he's – Playing extremely well, contributing almost on a nightly basis, doing something positive for us. A big hit down the right field line for us there. Um, you know, driving a run, yeah, playing solid defensively. Made a couple nice plays at short tonight. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's been a nice uh, it's been a nice addition since you know. Unfortunately, we lost Freddie for a while. Hopefully, we'll have him back soon. Uh, but Ramon's done, you know, filled in. Done everything we've asked him to do: make the routine play, have competitive at bats, um, and you know, even like the runner third, you know, with the great contact read by by Trey, putting the ball in play there, making things happen. So he's doing things to contribute almost on a daily basis. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Pat mentioned the other day that the season's been a bit of a grind for him. What have you seen out of him the last couple of days, and especially tonight? Yeah, it's nice to see a smile on Pat's face because it, it, you can tell he's. He's been grinding for a while. He's not getting the. He hasn't gotten the results that that he puts. A, you know, he, he's putting so much work in the cage. He, the guy works his tail off um, to improve. He's done a really good job at second base, playing extremely solid defensively, making the routine play there. Also, made a nice play again tonight. Uh, but yeah, the the at bats are. He's not having the year offensively that he wanted to have. So to see him hit two homers tonight, hit a homer the other day. Um, it's good to see a smile on his face. Last question is from Stan Charles. Brandon, what do you see with Dylan Tate? His confidence level seems to be much higher than at any time he's been with the Orioles. You know, it's just consistency with Dylan. Like, like so many of our guys, it, you know, you look at, you know, it's 97, 98 sinkers. Um, you know, it, you know, he gets the first two guys out right away. And then um, we know with him, with this stuff, uh, there's no excuse there to fall behind on the third hitter. They're like, finish the inning. <laughs> he yelled out, finish the inning, just because he's throwing 98, throws a 1-0 slider off the plate yank against the bottom of the order guy. I just wanted to go and trust the 97, 98, get the ball on the ground or, or swing and miss because the stuff is so good. It's a funky delivery. It's kind of a weird arm slot, kind of a stiff arm slot. And it's got serious sync to it. Um, so it's just kind of under, for me with Dylan, it's like understanding how to pitch, understanding where I can go, 
um, understanding who I can just pound sinkers with and, and get ground balls. Uh, because like you, you know, I brought him in a big spot two days ago against the Rosa Arena, and uh, the guy that's been killing us all year and gets a huge punch out there to, to end the inning. So hopefully these positive outings will continue to grow his confidence and, and he could be a back end guy for us.